Hi Thinkers, welcome to the Object Oriented Design course on thinkxacademy.com. In this video, we are going to start with our very first principle of the solid principles in object oriented design. And this principle is actually the S part of solid design. So S stands for the single responsibility uh, principle and it is one of the most simply, uh, simple and very intuitive uh, principle. So the principle says that uh, every class, so here you can see I have written that every class must have only one responsibility. So it makes sense that single responsibility means that uh, since we are uh, studying object oriented design, we will have to associate every principle and pattern with uh, the object oriented programming, right? So uh, it's all about classes and objects. So single responsibility says that every single class will have only one responsibility. So what does that mean? And uh, what I'm going to do is for every principle and pattern, there are 23 patterns in five principles. So in total, there are 28 things to learn. So uh, the important tip here is that if you want to uh, study them, do not even try to uh, even learn or memorize their definitions uh, that will uh, put you into trouble. So the way I'm going to do is I will give you a real life example of every principle and pattern and then I will show you a programmatically example of that, right? So a program that actually uh, shows us what are the advantages of that principle and what are the disadvantages, right? So let's start with our first example and let's say here you can see that I have uh, created a very simple class which is known as a class shape. Now we are going to use this class shape a lot of times throughout this whole course and we can say that class shape is actually responsible for creating different types of shape, right? So initially uh, we are going to take a problem that this class shape is actually used to draw a circle, right? So initially, let's say that uh, we, uh, we have a client and the client comes to us and he asks for only one single feature. He only wants us to be able to draw a circle, to be able to create, uh, to uh, maybe write and calculate the area of that circle and uh, very simple features related to this class, right? So what we can do is we can create a class shape. We can uh, write a very simple function here. You can see I've marked this first function, which is the public void draw function. So in this draw function, I can give the shape circle, I can write the algorithm here and I will be able to draw this circle, right? Now I have this class, uh, right? So just consider this program till here. Don't consider this one. This is actually uh, what we are going to study next. So first just consider this example. This has a, uh, this is the class shape. So our class ends here. So this has another function, which is this one, which is public long area function. So this area function is actually an algorithm that will calculate the area of circle, right? So initially we were sure that we, we will have only one feature. And since we have only one feature, we are going to write this class and this will, uh, we will just create an object of the shape class. And then we can just call these functions and our work is done. Now you can see clearly that this simple class is actually violating our principle. So the first thing you we will have to learn is uh, when you are trying to learn these principles and patterns, try to draw and try to implement a counter approach, right? So uh, here we have a counter example, which means that this example, you can see that this is a class shape and this class shape has more than one responsibility. The first responsibility is to draw the shape and the second responsibility is to calculate the area. So in this sense, uh, you can see that this implementation here is actually violating our single uh, responsibility principle, right? So uh, this says that every class must have only one responsibility. Now we need to understand what are the uh, disadvantages of such an implementation and why do we only need to create a uh, single responsibility and how we can do that, right? Because uh, we need both of these features. So we will have to see uh, what approach can we come up with. Now, initially the client requested only a circle to be drawn. Now the client is actually, uh, let's say they're getting more users and those users want to draw more uh, shapes. So this shape class also wants to draw a rectangle. This shape class also wants to draw a sphere, maybe a square and so many other figures as well. So the client requirements has changed. And in order to implement all of these, what we will need to do is now the draw function is basically an algorithm to draw a circle. Now we will have to write another uh, uh, draw function, which we will call as let's say that this is actually not draw draw. It is actually a draw circle function. So I will write here that this is a draw circle function. And let's say this is the area circle function. Right. So it was only concerned with the area circle because every figure will have a different implementation. Every single figure will have a different algorithm to implement the algorithm for drawing the circle and to calculating the area. So for rectangle, we will have to write another function, which will be a draw rectangle function, then draw square function and then draw a square function. So we can add all these functions inside of the shape class. Then we can create the uh, this object of the shape class. So let's say the object is shape. 
and let's say I want to actually draw a rectangle so I'm going to calculate I'm just going to invoke this draw rectangle function and I will get the rectangle this is a very uh, this is the implementation that we are doing there is a big disadvantage the first is the code maintainability and modification issues now since this class will have a lot of functions for different different figures it will become uh, very difficult for me as a developer to understand which particular function uh, is doing what right what is the use of that function and even if i can make out with some comments and some function names still i will have a very important issue which is modification so if i want to add more and more uh, functions to these right to this shape class this modification will actually take a lot of time because we will have to think about whether the function that we are writing is not contradictory to any other function right so if uh, let's say i'm writing a function something uh, which actually calculates the area of a sphere then to that i know that i need to actually get the radius of the sphere so if i have one variable i can calculate the area of sphere using that i can just calculate the area of circle so you can see that code reusability is also an issue so i will end up writing two more functions instead of that i could have written just one function now this class will have multiple functions and maintaining such type of class which becomes messy because you will have just one class and that class will have a lot of functions so it becomes very difficult to maintain such type of class now the question is how can we actually implement single responsibility in this example answer is simple we are going to say that okay the shape function the shape class will have only one function which is the draw function right and i will remove this area function from here and i will say that this shape class has only one responsibility and the responsibility is to draw the figure so if i'm given a figure let's say uh, in shape i'm given uh, a circle so i can draw the circle right for rectangle square and square so this uh, shape class now has only one responsibility that is to draw the uh, shape right now i will create a separate class area to calculate the area of this shape right so i will give in the shape to the constructor and here you can see i have a calculate area function i can invoke this calculate area function by giving the shape and this function will be able to calculate the area of this shape for me. Now this solves uh, a lot of issues here. First of all, I know that I have a different algorithm. So whenever I want to modify the algorithm, I don't need to modify the whole class. I will only, uh, I will just jump here to this part of the code. And then I know that yes, here is the function and here I want to do the maintenance. So if I want to add more features, I can add it. Then uh, we have modification. So if let's say I have a simple modification in this calculating area function, so I can modify this single class, right? So these were the two issues with the uh, with having multiple, uh, you can say, responsibilities in a single class. And this is how we can solve them. The uh, idea is very simple for different responsibilities, create separate classes. There is one more big benefit of uh, this approach. Uh, just pause this uh, video for a minute and think about what is the actual uh, advantage of this, right? So uh, the main advantage of this, which I'm going to tell you is memory right so let's say this shape class has all these functions we know that whenever an object of a class is created it gets uh, its space inside of the memory right so let's say this is our main memory and this memory will have all the objects which is object 1 object 2 of the shape class now since this shape class has a lot of implementation if i want to calculate or let's say i am concerned only with drawing circle at a particular time so I will have to allocate all the functions. I will have to allocate uh, because whenever I will create an object of this shape class, all the responsibilities will get space in the memory. This is a huge issue. So what we want to do is if we are calculating, uh, if we want to calculate the area of circle, then only we are going to allocate this uh, shape class with this area, right? So we will allocate this uh, object of area class and then we can calculate the area. So it is a huge advantage when we are concerned about memory trade-offs and this will be actually a good issue. Right, so we can uh, resolve this issue by creating multiple classes that can actually perform these different responsibilities separately and it gives us the modification and maintenance advantages. So that's all for the single responsibility principle. In the next tutorial, we are going to study O of solid principles. O stands for open close principle, which is another very important principle. And uh, we will, uh, I will see you in the next video. So thanks for watching.